station tom thank you we turn now to the storms across the u.s ginger the rain certainly kept me up last night i know you're tracking where the flood alerts are this morning and the major hurricane turning in the atlantic good morning again good morning to you yes sloth like that's how slow a lot of the thunderstorms were over the weekend you know on saturday in the bronx we watched the cell just sit there and they were delayed for a few hours and you can see why R water running through the concourse the flash flooding was a problem anywhere from maryland where we have pictures from too all the way up to rhode island and massachusetts and that's exactly who has a flood alert this morning because the stationary front sticking around giving us rounds of rain, not just today, but we'll get some more on Wednesday. So it's really a wet start to September for so many folks. But we've got to look at Hurricane Lee because I don't know why, but a lot of people seemed confused. They thought the thunderstorms were part of Lee. No. Lee is way out there, like northeast of Puerto Rico by 400 miles. So it has spent the weekend kind of introduced to some shear, meaning it decreased in intensity, but now it's going to ramp up and then eventually turn right. What I can promise you is from the Bahamas through Florida and Georgia, you don't worry about direct impacts, but you do have high surf. South Carolina and North Carolina, same deal. But this is what's happening. We've got this big ridge that is directing it. It's kind of kept it at bay. Now it's going to move east, allow it to take that turn north. And I'd say coastal New England, through that Canadian border at Maine is who needs to look out by this weekend for what Lee eventually will be, Rebecca. And what we can promise you is that Ginger will continue to stay busy. Thank you so much, Ginger. We turn